The process of drilling a well is invariably accompanied by the filtration of flushing fluid into productive formations. This filtrate saturates the pores of the formation, establishing a penetration zone around the well bore. In case of water-based flushing fluids, the filtrate takes the form of an aqueous medium. In the instance of hydrocarbon-based fluids, it becomes hydrocarbonaceous. Following the exposure of the productive layer, the process of its semantic commences, involving the lowering of casing and its subsequent cementing. Traditionally, cementing employs slurry, which is basically suspension of cement in water enriched with various chemical additives. In order to separate hydrocarbon-based flushing fluids from the water-based slurry, specialized spacer fluids comprised of aqueous mixtures of surfactants are employed. Their purpose is the complete removal of hydrocarbonaceous fluids from the annular region aimed for cementing, while facilitating a robust bond between the cement, casing and rock formation. In the process of pumping the aqueous stamping solution, and cement stone formation. The excess water phase is separated and filtered into the productive layer. In the penetration zone around the well, the hydrocarbon filtrate of the flushing fluid and the aqueous filtrate of the plug-in solution are mixed, the result of which is the formation of superviscous emulsions capable of preventing the inflow of reservoir hydrocarbons into the well during its operation. An alternative option would be to cement the casing string with a hydrocarbon-based slurry, which has a hydrocarbon type of filtrate and is fully compatible with a hydrocarbon flushing fluid. Such a slurry, IOECS2, was developed by our company, Geosynthesis Engineering. When the hydrocarbon components of the flushing fluid and the cement slurry are mixed inside the productive reservoir, the conditions for the inflow of reservoir fluids into the well do not deteriorate, which ensures full use of its production potential.